if I did a show tomorrow, the exact same people would be there and there's yeah. been no growth because you haven't marketed. <laughs> so what would you do? You yeah, play that back. <laughs> do you minimize the barriers of people following you up by actually handing out cards, marketing, whatever, or do you just kind of hope that they are going to proactively out of their own time yeah. search for you? I mean, again, this was a whole different kind of tour. Like the whole point of this was just to be like, hey, I'm back in Australia. <clears throat> I've released some new songs. This is for the people who have kind of stuck around for the last three yeah. or four years. Yeah. Um, and so the, the, the show was very much the first album like it was very much this throwback. is well yeah a throwback and also like it's different to what the new stuff i'm i'm mm. working on and the new project i'm in the direction i'm i'm heading um so i guess it was kind of that tour was kind of like this is a thank you for everyone that's that stuck around mm -hmm. through everything because my sound has been <laughs> the same for so long and the brand has been very similar so yep. it was kind of closing off it was called chapter two tour, but it was, it was basically closing off that chapter and being like, sure. I'm finished with this now. Let's celebrate these two new songs, which are in the same vein. Uh, but let's, let's celebrate these two songs and let's celebrate everything we've been through together through this, this journey, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and I guess the, the marketing wasn't, um, wasn't super, Pushed, I guess it was it was kind of just seeing it, it was me seeing what would happen because I'd not to it in in so long and yeah, I, sure. I guess I wanted to <coughs> which is wouldn't recommend not marketing <laughs> yeah um, obviously but I, I guess I was at a point where I was kind of unsure because um, I had ideas for this new project but I was like I I don't know whether Put some feelings out first well yeah I, I I just wanted to see if people were still interested in in me and yeah, what sure. I was doing. Mm. Um, Would you do that differently now with what you know? Oh, for sure. Because while we like the goal of this too is to make sure everyone listening is like, mm. all right, sweet, I can take that nugget away. Yeah. What would you do now with? I mean, you've done the tester, mm. and what most people do is they do a song, then they expect someone who's just come across yeah, them that's not, that's to proactively go out exactly. of the line when they sober up the next morning. Go like, oh, what was the name of that guy that performed? Oh yeah, it was this guy's name. Yeah. I'm gonna now proactively search. Yeah. What What are some methods you would suggest, and I mean you do yourself, mm. in order to take away those barriers, so that again, if someone drunkenly wakes up the next morning, okay, they, you wake up sober. Um, <laughs> well, uh, well, depends, well, depends actually. Well, I'm definitely waking depends. up drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what would you say that you would do, mm. and that someone else could do, like another artist watching this could do? Yeah. Um, I guess we we haven't really cracked it yet, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I guess what I would do differently. Um, again, it's it's such a hard conversation because we we sold out those shows without mm -hmm. marketing and without yeah. things like that, just purely based on on the people who had kind of been with me throughout so mm -hmm. it, that whole tour was it was again very much so a celebration of it all you're all invited like it was literally just through our social media where i was like this like yeah, the, that's cool the ticket, well it's it's that's amazing awesome. that's that very happened. humbling that was that was kind of the yeah. the test to see if i was fully prepared to spend a few a few grand in in marketing and um I mean, the, the hard thing as well, which people don't Let's explore understand. explore that, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So the marketing you spent, because that's another thing that a lot of artists don't mm. do. It's it's very much a receiving thing. Like, no, I should get this. I should oh, do yeah. this. Oh, yeah, that's crap. You've spent, yeah, it's, you've spent a couple of thousand dollars yeah. to market something. Now there is smart spending and there's dumb spending. Like yeah. pressing the boost button on your Facebook is dumb. Yeah, exactly. You, like little Aunt Sally Every doesn't want to hear about your fucking hip-hop album. Facebook is an ad as well. Exactly. Which, so yeah. what did those couple of thousand dollars, what did you do? Mm. Uh, where did you invest and how did you, like what was the creative part to mm. it? Because there's obviously creative and a money thing. Like more money doesn't mean that people give a fuck. Exactly, yeah. <clears throat> so what, what did you do? Um, well, we didn't for the tour. Like we, we had it there in the back burner if we needed it, mm -hmm. but we, we didn't, which was, which was great. Okay. But at the same time, obviously if I did a show tomorrow, the exact same people would be there and there's yeah. been no growth because you haven't marketed. <clears throat> so what would you do? Um, well, what we did for the, uh, battered 
which was why it was so successful. It's the first time I invested properly in some PR. Um, a lot of people, it's it's a really hard thing because people in the industry kind of don't understand it and people who aren't in the industry don't even get remotely close to because mm-hmm. again like it, it, like small cap shows but our over our overheads were very small yeah and still selling all those tickets well i still lost money on a yeah. sold out tour because yeah. it's it just <coughs> isn't a viable original music in australia is not <coughs> do you think you may be underpricing thing. your tickets then potentially um like, and again i i think i would maybe do that differently but even still, uh, that money, I wouldn't charge people more for a ticket to then put on the same show. Like, I no. think it's... Uh, Could you add in tangibles that cost you no money, but then give them a uh, tangible value you could potentially it. i haven't figured out what that is yet so if you let me know well okay actually no fuck it let's explore this yeah because like if someone out there will get value from this yeah but what you, i think with marketing I, uh, from your point earlier i think it's you need to invest it's the most important thing yeah. that's where all the labels have their acts obviously they've got pockets and all the radio stations and everything but that's and marketing in itself but exactly that's, that's networking networking exactly right. is marketing exactly so you need to have you need to be willing to spend that money but not only do you need to be willing to spend that money you need to be willing to spend that money with the understanding that you might not get anything back that you probably won't yeah get it back like yeah. you need to just it's an investment yeah. in yourself it's an investment in your business but how can we explore that so that it is something we get the money back because mm. the the biggest way to kill your mu- music career is marketing with a negative yeah return yeah um i mean obviously there's investment but like you don't want to be investing say across 10 years tw- 200 grand for sure, for sure. and then being like well fuck if i redirected my marketing here I would have actually made 300 grand, Mm. you know? So, um, I think that's just a case of trial and error. It is a hundred percent. And and, and and it's dependent purely on, Mm. uh, well, you as an artist or, you know, producer or whatever, Mm. um, your, who you're trying to market yourself to. Mm. Yeah. And the content that you give them. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's the most important thing, right? You can market it you can spend so much money on marketing that every single person in the world, like look at what you two did with that album. Yeah. It was on iTunes. Everyone was like, Oh, we have this. So we're forced to listen to it. And cause it was you two. Some people were like, this is sick. Honestly, so that much. put me on you two. Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> like, there were, I like that there album. Were cases like that. And then there were other people, people who were, were like, offended. Like it was a breach of their privacy. I'm well, like, what yeah. the fuck? You, exactly. You just go, do you, you know what you do? Free album. Delete it. Yeah. But people were put off. <clears throat> people who were yeah. fans of you two were put off you two. People who weren't fans of you two were put like, on. this is sick. But then there were, for tat. Exactly. You can't, like you can't please everyone. You're going to piss off someone. Exactly. You can say the sky's blue and piss off someone. Exactly. But that's the thing is if the content's not there, you yeah. can have every single person in the world yeah. listening to it, but you're not going to connect with someone mm-hmm. if the content's shit. Mm-hmm.